Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. This product retails for $18. This is another new launch from the brand CeraVe. I'm excited to try out this product because I haven't tried any of their oil cleansers or their makeup removers. And this does claim to be a hydrating product. And so I am curious to see how this product will perform. CeraVe is not a vegan or a cruelty-free brand, but this product is fragrance-free and alcohol-free. They've also formulated this product with great ingredients like ceramides and squalene. So to check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. The big things that I'll be looking for with this product just include how does this product perform as a cleanser and also does this product clog my pores or cause acne. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. So contrary to what I originally believed about this product, it is not an oil cleanser. This is a water-based cleanser. I looked at the ingredient list and the first ingredient is water. And so I would still recommend going in with an oil-based cleanser before this product just to make sure you are removing all of the makeup and sunscreen from the day. So far what I'm noticing about this product is it is very similar to their foaming cleanser, but this does seem like a version for dry skin, which completely makes sense. I do feel like that how I'm personally enjoying using this product is a gentle cleanser after I work out. I usually don't like to cleanse my skin twice a day because I feel like it can be a little bit too much, but I do work out during the daytime and so it is good to use a gentle hydrating cleanser like this product to get all the sweat off of my skin, but not strip the skin. This has been doing a great job to remove my sunscreen though. I don't wear makeup so I can't testify for that. So when it comes to texture, it does start off as almost like an oil but it's not an oil-based cleanser. I feel like it got its name just from the texture and how similar it is to an oil, but it definitely is a water-based cleanser. When you add water to it, it does start to foam. You'll see that whenever I get it on my face. It does say to go in with damp skin with this product. I feel like you could go in with dry skin, but I'm just following their instructions. So I just take about two pumps of this product and it does not take much whatsoever. This is definitely the definition of a really hydrating cleanser, which is rare because usually foaming cleansers are not hydrating whatsoever. And that's one thing I really enjoy about this product. I feel like they did take into consideration that people with dry skin may want a foaming cleanser. And if you're not able to use the other CeraVe cleanser, then I feel like this would be a wonderful option so far. It hasn't been causing any acne or texture. Sometimes more hydrating cleansers can do that if they aren't being effective. You can see there, it does have a light foam starting. Once I start adding water, it will get even more. Foam is starting to show. And as you can see there, it does leave some hydration to the skin. I don't feel like this is a stripping cleanser whatsoever. I definitely feel like it is designed for dry skin, which I'm so glad about. I feel like that the hydrating cleanser and this cleanser are definitely different. This has a different texture and it has more of a foam to it. And so it's all just depending on your preference. I definitely feel like I need to go in with a moisturizer after this, but I mean, that's usual with a cleanser. So other than that, that's all I can tell you right now. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next Check it. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. Even though this cleanser was not an oil cleanser, it was still a very gentle cleanser for dry skin. I would still recommend going in with an oil-based cleanser before this to make sure you are removing all of the sunscreen and makeup and whatever you're wearing throughout the day. I feel like this product was very similar to their other foaming cleanser in the sense that it was very foaming and it did do a great job to remove my sunscreen at least, but this product was different because that product is more for oily to combination skin and I feel like this product would be more for dry skin or if your skin is extremely sensitized and you're wanting a very gentle cleanser that is what I feel like this product did best as it was very effective at being a cleanser while also being very skin barrier friendly my favorite time to use it for me personally was during the day because it was such a gentle cleanser and I usually like to go in with something a little bit heavier at night not to say that this product wasn't a good cleanser I just usually like to go in with something that is a little bit more purifying. I mean, this is a very simple, very basic cleanser.
cleanser. That's what CeraVe does. And so if that's what you're looking for in a very hydrating oil to foam cleanser, and that is what I would recommend this product as. I feel like the name oil to foam comes from how this product feels. Even though it does have water in it, it does have a very slick oily texture when you start out. And then when you add water, it does foam up. But this product does have water in it. And so it is not an oil-based cleanser. Just make sure you do go in with an oil-based cleanser, do a double cleanse as well. I didn't see anything wrong with this product. I did enjoy it. It is just a little bit simple for what I personally use in my skincare routine. But I mean, that's pretty much what CeraVe products are. You do get a lot of this product for the value. And if you do have extremely dry skin or your skin is going through it, I would recommend this cleanser. I feel like it did a great job at being an effective cleanser while also being very skin barrier friendly. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.